hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Shanice's suitcase in today's video i actually wanted to take you guys along on a cruise ship tour of the famous anthem of the seas um, anthem of the seas it's a gorgeous ship uh, she debuted in 2015 which was her first voyage she's part of quantum class in royal caribbean um, and that is actually the third largest class of cruise ships in the world so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So starting at the very top of the ship on deck 14, we're going to go ahead and start in the front of the ship, uh, which of course you see you have the solarium. Now the solarium is an adults only area of the ship. Uh, basically guests 16 and up are allowed in the solarium. The solarium is uh, slightly different from your main pools. Um, for one, you have more cushioned loungers inside of the solarium versus on the pool deck. Also, as you can see here, there are actually, um, on the quantum class ships, there are three cascading pools in the center of the solarium. And also inside of the solarium, you do have um, the four hot tubs as well. And I thought this was a cool feature that um, at the bottom of this one, there was actually a swing, um, which is pretty much overlooking uh, the front of the ship. So I thought that was... That was really cool. Heading back to the entrance to the solarium, you're going to notice that there is a full service bar called the Sunshine Bar. And of course this bar sells, um, you know, alcoholic drinks, uh, pina coladas, anything that your heart desires. Also make sure that you check the Royal Caribbean app um once you're on board just to verify the times that the bar is open also to mention just before you're leaving the solarium of course i recorded this backwards but um just before you're leaving the solarium there is actually an entrance into the solarium bistro now this bistro is kind of like the windjammer um it is a buffet uh, the Solarium Bistro, they do uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, breakfast is just, you know, traditional breakfast like eggs, bacon, you know, waffles, pancakes, fruit, things like that. And then for dinner and lunch, they actually transform into like a Mediterranean style uh, bistro. Uh, so if you know, if you're into the Mediterranean type flavors, then definitely check out the Solarium Bistro. Definitely check that out. So before we move on, uh, since we're still at the front of the ship, I did want to mention that right above the solarium on deck 15 um, is the Vitality Spa, uh, where you can get a massage uh, or a facial. They also uh, have a salon as well. And then right above that on deck 16 is going to be the Vitality Fitness Center. And me personally, I've never utilized a fitness center on a cruise ship, but maybe I should start. So moving on, heading towards the back of the ship, uh, you're actually going to um, go into the, um, it's an enclosed pool. This one is for everyone. So like families, kids of all ages, adults, everyone is welcome. It's an indoor pool. So I do like this concept it, uh, just in case it is raining outside. There's a main pool and there's two whirlpools. And then also at the, um, in the back, you have the pool bar. Uh, which of course is a full service bar uh, for your needs. Next, just outside, you have the main pool, which is located at deck 14 midship. Uh, you have two hot tubs located outside as well. And then you also have a little kitty area where the little kids can go and play. Just right above the main pool, you actually have the North Star. So the North Star, basically uh, it's a mechanical arm and it holds um, it's kind of like a pod so you get inside of the capsule and the mechanical arm pulls you up and then it also takes you off to the side of the ship to give you uh, pretty amazing views uh, of either side of the ship as well as the top of the ship and also it gives you pretty breathtaking views of uh, just the scenery in general. So 
So if you're a bit nervous about uh, the North Star, uh, luckily for you, there's actually two bars. Um, right underneath the North Star, you have the North Star bar, and then underneath that, you have the Sky Bar. So just in case you need something just to kind of take a little bit of the edge off. Still heading towards the back of the ship, uh, towards the Windjammer, you're going to pass Johnny Rockets, uh, which is going to be on the left-hand side, um, just past the main pool. Johnny Rockets is an all-American burger, like, diner style. Uh, they do sell milkshakes as well. Uh, just note that this is not included in your cruise fare. There is an extra cost for uh, Johnny Rockets. Um, but just make sure that you check either RoyalCaribbean.com or check the Royal Caribbean app just to see the latest pricing information for Johnny Rockets. Now walking past Johnny Rockets all the way to the back, you're finally gonna get to the Windjammer. The Windjammer is basically a staple on Royal Caribbean ships. Uh, every single Royal Caribbean ship uh, is gonna have a Windjammer. It's basically uh, a buffet style. They serve uh, American fare, they have Indian, Asian, Chinese, they have a lot of different uh, types of cuisine that you can try from. It is a buffet style. Typically they are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. However, just make sure that you check the Royal Caribbean app or the Royal Caribbean website to find out the, uh, the times that they are open for that day that you want to go. Staying at the back of the ship, if you were to go to deck 15, uh, you will actually be introduced to the Cplex. Um, the Cplex is the largest indoor active space currently at sea. Um, it's two levels, so it spans deck 15 and deck 16. The Cplex basically is an active space. It offers a full-size basketball court, um, and then it also offers bumper cars, roller skating, and a trapeze school. Unfortunately, on our sailing, they were not doing the roller skating or the trapeze lessons due to COVID-19. But like I've said previously, just check uh, the app before you go uh, to make sure they're doing it for your sailing. And then after um, you're done playing basketball or bumper cars or whatever you decided to do in the Cplex, uh, you have the Cplex Doghouse, which is located in the back of the Cplex. There is no extra charge. It is included in your cruise fare, uh, but they sell uh, hot dogs, sausages, and things of that nature. Heading outside um, of the Cplex, uh, you're going to see the uh, rock wall and you're also going to see Gigi the giraffe, so make sure you say hi. Right next to the rock wall, um, you actually have the sign-in uh, place for Ripcord by iFly. Now the actual uh, Ripcord um, tube that you go in to do the skydiving, that is actually located on deck 16. So that's why I put deck 16 in the video. Um, I wasn't able to do this when we went on our sailing, um, but if you are into indoor skydiving, then I definitely recommend uh, checking out Ripcord by iFly. And for those of you that want a little bit more thrills than just indoor skydiving, definitely check out the Flow Rider, which is located uh, at the back of the ship on deck 15. Uh, you can surf on the Flow Rider and you can also um, boogie board as well. Heading back inside, um, just before you're leaving the Cplex, you will see the Challengers Arcade. Um, and of course, the Challengers Arcade is pretty self-explanatory. It's an arcade on the ship. Uh, and of course, you know, you do have to pay extra for the games and things that are inside. Also to mention um, really quickly, right off the side of the Windjammer, you're going to see uh, Coastal Kitchen. Uh, so Coastal Kitchen is actually another restaurant, but it's only exclusively for sweet guests and Pinnacle Club members. So um, if you're neither of those, then unfortunately you can't go into Coastal Kitchen and eat in there. Lastly, what I wanted to mention is on the right side, before you get into the Windjammer, you have the living room, which is a teen-only space. Be sure, like I've said previously, to check the Royal Caribbean app to let you know the age requirements in order to uh, go to the living room. 
Spanning deck 11 and 12, you have Adventure Ocean. Adventure Ocean um, is basically kind of similar to the teen space, but this is just for the little ones. So if you and your significant other or friends want to go out and party, you can always leave your little ones here. Um, and Royal Caribbean will take good care of them for you. Um, like I said previously, just make sure that you do check the Royal Caribbean app or the website. At the front of the ship on deck five, you're going to have the Royal Theater. So the Royal Theater is Anthem's main um, venue for entertainment and shows. Um, the main shows that they have on Anthem are We Will Rock You and The Gift. Um, we unfortunately didn't get to see We Will Rock You because due to unforeseen circumstances, the show was canceled. Uh, but definitely make sure that you check out those shows. I've heard that they're very good. Um, also as well, uh, in the Royal Theater, they will have game shows, some comedy. So just make sure that you check your cruise compass just to make sure, you know, what's happening in the Royal Theater. Heading back out from the Royal Theater, you're going to uh, come across the Focus Photo Gallery. So this, of course, is pretty self-explanatory. Whenever you take any pictures on board, or even the pictures that, um, like if you take it Perfect Day at Coco Cay, these will be here uh, at the Focus Gallery. Um, and then, of course, you can purchase them if you'd like. The Schooner Bar is the venue on board that mainly does um, a lot of trivia, so if you're into that, uh, definitely check out the Schooner Bar. They also have live music as well, sometimes they, uh, they have games, uh, but definitely check out the Cruise Compass just to find out what's going on in the Schooner Bar for your sailing. Next we have Azumi Japanese Cuisine. Um, we ate here on our sailing and the food was phenomenal. So if you're into sushi or just Japanese cuisine in general, I definitely would recommend checking out Izumi. One really cool thing that Anthem has is the Bionic Bar. This bar is, of course, pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, robotic arms that actually make your drinks. So um, if you're looking for like an alcoholic beverage, but you want something, you know, with a little more pizzazz <laughs> since it's robotic arms, then definitely head over to the Bionic Bar. Just use the tablet at one of the tables and you can order from there. The Shore Excursions Desk is located on Deck 5, and it's the place that you would go if you forgot to book your Shore Excursions before you boarded. So when you guys sail on Anthem, you definitely have to try this. Um, it's in Deck 5, um, it's pretty much right as soon as you get on the ship. I call it the Heartbeat Chandelier, but there's basically a pad underneath the chandelier. You put your hand on it, and the lights actually go um, to the rhythm of your heartbeat which I thought was pretty cool. I feel like most people are excited about this restaurant. So this is Wonderland. It is imaginative cuisine. It is located on deck five and it is a specialty dining restaurant. So of course there is an extra charge for it. But this restaurant, uh, I would definitely recommend it if you're a very open-minded person. If you have a pretty picky palate, then I would suggest not going here of course it's entirely up to you but they basically take regular food and they put a twist on it so it doesn't look at all what it's supposed to be um, and it might have different textures a different uh, like flavor but all in all I thought it was pretty good Located inside of the Via, you have Jamie's Italian. Now, not gonna lie, Jamie's Italian was pretty bomb. <laughs> the food was really good. One thing I really liked about Jamie's Italian is they literally tell you you can pick as many appetizers as you want. Um, I think that when we did it, we must have just picked everything on the menu and it was way too much. But yeah, definitely check out Jamie's Italian. Um, one, if you love Italian food, and two, if you really like to eat, because they give you a lot of food. <laughs> but it is really good, though. Um, and then, of course, this is a specialty dining restaurant, so it is an extra charge. 
Also located in the Via, uh, across from Jamie's Italian, you have a few stores, which are pretty well known. And then you also have Vintages, which is the wine bar. And it's a full service wine bar. So if you are someone who is uh, like a wine connoisseur or just someone who is uh, pretty into wine, uh, Vintages is definitely uh, the spot for you heading towards the back of this ship uh, you're gonna notice on your left hand side that you're going to see the next cruise desk so this of course is where you would book your next cruise on the right hand side you're gonna have cafe 270 which is pretty much the cafe for the venue 270 so cafe 270 uh, sells uh, salad sandwiches um, they also have uh, like paninis and things like that as well um, and then of course this is free there is no charge for cafe 270 so it's definitely a nice place just to eat at so 270 uh, is a venue that's mainly known for um, having the panoramic views of the ocean it's on the very very back of the ship and then whenever they do shows the panoramic windows um, on the back of the ship they actually change um, and they can uh, turn into screens, basically, and it looks pretty cool. Upstairs uh, in 270, you're gonna find the library. Unfortunately, on our sailing, it was unavailable, but it's definitely a nice place just to relax. They have board games, um, and then of course, you can always relax with a book as well. Starting on deck four, heading towards the back of the ship, uh, the first venue that you're going to um, encounter um, other than the Royal Theater is going to be the Music Hall. So the Music Hall is pretty much a venue for, um, you know, of course, music. <laughs> so if there's any live bands or, you know, musicians um, or anything like that, the, it will be held here. Also, too, um, just like the Scooter Bar has trivia, the Music Hall actually does some trivia as well. Um, so if you're into either live music or trivia, definitely check out your cruise compass or the app. The Royal Esplanade, uh, which on other ships is called uh, the Royal Promenade. <laughs> on this one on Anthem, it's called the Royal Esplanade. And this is home to a number of shops as well as um, eating venues and also um, it has boleros as well. Um, so yeah, so definitely enjoy uh, this little tour uh, of the Royal Esplanade. Heading away from the Royal Esplanade towards the back of the ship, you're going to get to the main dining rooms. So you have Chic, the Grande Restaurant, Silk, and American Icon Grill. While, while we were sailing, we got to uh, enjoy American Icon Grill and Silk, but I'm pretty sure that all of them are uh, equally as nice.
And last but certainly not least is the Casino Royale. So if you are one for taking chances and rolling the dice, this is the place for you. Well, that's going to do it for my in-depth ship tour of Anthem of the Seas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Um, and I appreciate everyone's support so far. If you guys are actually going on Anthem, definitely leave a comment down below. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Also, don't, don't forget to follow me on social media. I have an Instagram as well as a Facebook. But that's going to do it for today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!